gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is in the flyweight division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner, making his MMA debut tonight, fighting out of Doom MMA Academy in Las Vegas, Krav Maga, right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Robert Bobby Tierra. Standing across the cage in the red corner with no wins and one loss. Fighting out of House of Rue, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is D'Angelo Soul Warrior Yates. Ref in charge of the action is Chris Tyone. An intense stare down there by Robert Tierra and D'Angelo Yates. They're looking into each other's soul. Yeah. Yates has the black tights with the red trim. Tierra's got the black trunks with the tape trim. And once again, they come out and the action is underway. Strikes galore. Mostly coming from Yates as he backs up Tierra into the cage. Nice now he delivers some knees to the solar plexus. Good right hand. Tierra's covering up, throws back a little bit, but Yates is in control and he's causing some damage. The difference between this show and the last show is last show there's more feeling out process. This show with the guys that are making their debut, they're just going after it. There's no touching gloves, there's nothing. I'll tell you what, Yates is precise, isn't he, Mo? He's yes. teeing off right now. Oh, wow. nice. Wow! Ooh, Incredible wow. slam by Yates. Tierra went for a ride. And Tierra, God bless him, has got a lot of guts. He's not stopping. Yates is relentless, man. We're not even a minute in, guys. These guys are, these, for, for, for amateur, these guys are pretty, they're getting after it. Yeah, I, I really liked Yates' poise there as he was striking Tierra. He was finding his mark. Not a lot of wasted energy there. He was very efficient. Now, Tierra right now is doing a good job of, okay, doing a good job of defending this rear naked, rear naked choke right now. He's been there for about past. Uh, is that it? No, I'm not sure if that oh. was a tap. No, oh, but wow. the thing is that he heard something. He heard him go cough or get, <laughs> make some type of brain sound. Wow. Oh. I'm not sure about the flip there by Mr. Yates, but King Mo, you were saying that it looked like he may not have the, the uh, choke. He didn't have it, but I think that I heard some type of grunt come from that area. And, you know, sometimes when you yell, ow, or <clears throat> make a weird sound, the referee's right. like, hey, stop it. Okay. And, of course, not to say that these fights are any less than the fights we're used to seeing on the professional level, because they mean a lot to both parties, but this is the time to learn, right? This is the time to maybe be on the losing end of, of, of one of these calls. You can tell Tierra is definitely displeased with the stoppage, but he's showing some sportsmanship, and I'm sure he'll be back. I I'll tell you what, man. I, wa I like both guys. I love watching both guys fight. I can't wait to see both guys fight they again. They were tough guys. Especially Tierra. Tierra showed, as granted, he was the losing end of this fight, but he showed composure. He didn't go crazy. He stayed true to his technique and did what he could do to come back, but... Hey, his next fight, he'll be a bigger beast. I'm a fan of both guys. We're going to send it up to Justin Bernard for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after minute 17 into the first round, your winner by tap out due to guillotine choke, the red corner, D'Angelo Soul Warrior Yates. D'Angelo Yates goes to one and one. Bobby Tierra, 0 and 1. And I know, as I read those records, they they, 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 don't, they don't mean as much right now. I think to me, personally, I, I really enjoyed watching both guys fight. I can't wait to see these, fight, these guys fight again. I'm interested in seeing who gave Yates his first his first loss. 